Welcome to a short video review of the Samsung UE46 F7000. The bezel is remarkably slender, giving a floating experience that's sure to impress your friends. It's a very low slung affair, however, which will make placing a soundbar or centre speaker in front of it tricky. So those with plans in that direction might need to consider wall mounting. Something for which the F7000 is well suited, as all four of the HDMI connections are side facing. The F7000 has numerous options for control and it ships with two remotes. One is of a fairly standard, if relatively compact design, and another that's far more sci-fi. There's also two pairs of Samsung's Active Shutter 3D glasses in the box, which, whilst incredibly light and as you can see almost totally tin free, offer very little protection at the sides to combat light getting in. There's also a built in video camera for face recognition, Skype video calls, and gesture control. We're not sure we'll ever get to grips with being some kind of wannabe Jason Bourne, but the voice controls and smartphone apps are very good. Additional goodies in Samsung's Smart Hub, of course, include loads of video on demand services and apps. The media streamer is also excellent, and if that's not enough, there's a dual tuner PVR function, a very slick web browser, and a viewing recommendation feature to keep you amused. Of course, there's no use in being beautiful and smart if it can't deliver the goods on the picture front, and the F7000 generally doesn't disappoint. The menus contain all the calibrator needs to gain supreme accuracy, and sure enough, that's just what we got. Not that it was bad out of the box, but there was a little too much red in the grayscale, and colours were generally a little too bright. Following calibration, we were able to obtain absolutely reference results for both grayscale and gamut after a bit of careful manipulation of the controls. The Samsung UE46 F7000 is super smart inside and out and brings the full might of Samsung's industry leading treasure chest of a connected platform to the party. It's also capable of reference colour performance and striking contrast, backed up by generally superb picture processing. There's the odd hiccup here and there, and the F7000 is quite considerably better in 2D than it is in 3, but it is, nevertheless, worthy of an AV Forums recommended award. You can read the full written review at avforums.com forward slash reviews. Thanks for watching.